Hey, this is Jay. Happy Zur Day. Happy Friday. How in the world are you doing? Zur is at the tower over here on this left-hand side, back by the speaker. And as we're heading back here, just wanted to remind you that I released my weekly Nightfall video. That's the one where I do it with my son and subscribers like you. So if you want to check that out, you can click on the link at the end of this video, or you can go directly to my channel and subscribe and check it out right there. But here is Zur. Let's see what he's got going on. Oh, we got the Dune Marchers. All right, so something new. So let's get into these. Uh, first up, Legacy Ingrams. Remember, these are year one. They will not infuse to current light level. So I just go ahead and skip these. The only reason that you want to buy Legacy Ingrams is if you get a Legacy Ingram and it has a current year item, you can actually go to a kiosk and buy that current year item. But otherwise, just go ahead and skip these. They're expensive and uh, you can't infuse them, like I said. But here are the Dune Marchers. Oh, these are really fun. I love the movement on the Titan. And the Dune Marchers make that even better because you get Speed Demon, increased sprint speed, increased movement speed while aiming your weapon, and tighter turning radius while sprinting. So I like this in PvP and PvE. So go ahead and pick this up. We've got increased discipline, increased strength, uh, shotgun ammo though, rocket launcher ammo like those, and arc double down. So yeah, go ahead and pick those up. I'm glad they're finally selling something cool. Got the sealed Ahamkara graphs for the Hunter. And you get Nightmare Fuel, gain an additional melee charge, and then melee damage has a chance to automatically reload your primary weapon. So immediately I'm thinking PvP, especially with Iron Banner going on right now. Uh, I'd definitely pick that up if you're a PvP player. And also if you solo a lot of stuff in PvE, it's going to come in handy getting your uh, weapons to uh, reload instantaneously. So we've got increased discipline, increased strength, switchblade, impact induction and then sidearm loader and machine gun loader so yeah go ahead and pick those up and then last but not least we've got the alchemist raiment for the warlock and i never use this thing uh you get iron to gold chance to gain glimmer on primary ammo pickups orbs collected when your super is full recharge your grenades and melee so that's not too bad the last part uh, but otherwise i just don't find myself using this very often for pve or pvp i guess i was i was short on glimmer or something like that i might pick this up but otherwise uh not too good increased intellect though increased strength special ammo heavy ammo these are good right here having the extra that choice uh, but you got arc burn defense and arc armor if I'm forgetting something or don't know anything about that That makes this really good. Somebody let me know in the comment section. Otherwise uh, if you're short on coins I'd recommend skipping that but last here. We got the red death The red death We've got kinetic damage Accurized ballistics field choke aggressive ballistics. We've got unflinching. It's easier to aim under fire using this weapon snapshot high caliber rounds, single point sling, and then the thing that people uh, most like about this is Red Death. Each kill heals you and speeds up reload. So this can come in handy in raids and in PvP, you know, getting that health back with each kill really comes in handy. So I'd definitely pick this up if you don't have it. Red Death, uh, great weapon. But other than that, we've got some ornaments, not a toy for the Zalo Supercell. And uh, I really don't like the way that one looks, but uh, also too for the Trespasser right here, Crucible Assassin. We've got upgrades for your Sparrow, Heavy Ammo Cakes. We've got three of coins, Glass Needles, and you can trade in two Strange Coins for one Mote of Light. But that is what Xur has to offer. Let me know what you're getting excited for with this new update that we've got going on. Bungie just uh, announced the Dawning. Oh, get my thing here going on. But uh, let me know what you're excited for with the Dawning. I know Sparrow Racing is coming back. I'm looking forward to getting the Icebreaker. I cannot wait to get that year one item back in. It's been way too long, and uh, I really missed that weapon. It was really fun. It came in handy in a lot of raids and different things. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm also looking forward to what they're doing with strikes. Uh, anything that's going to make strikes more interesting, that's cool with me. But let me know what you guys are looking forward to, man. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. As always, take care, and God bless.